Today we'd like to give you a short overview of a new feature release on our Kipware CNC Exchange software, which is our Fanuc to Okuma G-Code conversion software. And CNC Exchange can convert in both directions, so we can go from a Fanuc to a OSP program, or an OSP to a, a Fanuc program. The new feature we'd like to look at today is what we call our look ahead uh, function. And what this will do is allow you, when converting a program from a Fanuc format to an Okuma format in the milling version, uh, it will automatically look ahead uh, to the next tool and then input that next tool call when converting the program. So we're going to take a look at the user options first, and the user options are inside of Kipware CNC Exchange to allow the user to be able to do some customization to the software. Uh, CNC Exchange will automatically convert the standard G code uh, inside the programs, but sometimes uh, machines don't have the same functions, and most of those times those are M functions. Uh, so an M10 on one machine may be an M50 on another machine. And this gives the user the capability to go in there and define those conversions outside of the normal uh, G-code conversions that are included inside the source code of CNC Exchange. So we're going to take a look at the additional options. And you can see in the, on this particular page the user can set up a couple of different things. One is decimal conversions and the other one is code splitting. Uh, so if you have a control that won't accept, uh, say for instance, two specific G codes on a line, uh, you could set the software up to automatically uh, separate those onto different lines. But what we're going to be concerned with here is this uh, Fanuc Okuma Milling Tool Change option. Uh, so the first option that you can do is to enable T code separation. Uh, so yeah, if you have a uh, program that says a T01M06 and you need it to be T01 and then M06 on a line by itself, uh, you can do that through this T-code separation. The new feature that we've added is uh, to enable the next tool look ahead. Uh, so what this can do inside the program, uh, for instance tool number one, uh, it'll look down inside the program and find out what the next tool that's going to be called would be. And then you can designate a letter address to input into the program and the software will automatically take and put, uh, for instance, this Q number, which is the next tool coming up, so that it's already ready in the tool changer so that uh, we can get a little bit more efficiency, uh, save a little bit more time in the cycle time, and have it done automatically when the software is converting the program. Also, we've enabled a tool change return line insertion. Uh, so this means that whatever you type into this uh, field here, will automatically get inserted prior to the tool change line. Uh, so if the machine uh, before is using uh, a different line than the machine needs to return the tool to the tool change position, uh, you can input that in here. And here you can see that we're inputting G30 uh, P11. So what we're going to do here, uh, also what we've done is through the standard user options is we've done a little bit to the tool change command. So we've taken all the tool numbers and changed them to a G116T1. And so what this is a macro to automatically change the tool and to be able to enable the look ahead for the next tool. So when we get through the conversion you'll see how this works. So uh, basically user option files are again user configurable files where you can set up uh, non-standard conversions inside the software. And then you can make as many of these uh, user option files as you'd like. So if you have multiple Fanuc machines on the shop floor uh, that use different M functions, going to uh, an Akuma machine using different uh, M functions, uh, you can make as many of these uh, user option files as you need. And then you can call up which user option file you want to use during the particular conversion. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we've got a test program and we'll take a quick look at that and you can see we've got uh, the, the g-code in here is kind of not really uh, standard uh, type of g-code, it's just got movement in there. But what we want to take a look at is we want to take a look at the tool change. So we start out with tool 1, uh, tool 3, tool 4, tool 6. You can see there's no next tool call in this particular program and what we're going to do through uh, this conversion and these new features is to automatically change that. So we have the user option that we uh, want to use. We have the program 
that we want to convert. We're going to select the direction that we want to go, and in this case we're taking a Fanuc program and bringing it into an Okuma. And we're going to hit the milling option. Uh, I'm going to change this first line to uh, an Okuma command, and then I'm going to hit continue. You can see that the software has automatically gone through and made those changes that we talked about. So tool number one here, uh, because of the user option, we've changed it to DG116T1, and it's automatically put to Q3. If we look here, you can see that tool three is the next command. If we look at the tool three option, it says Q4, which is the next tool. Tool six is calling Tool four, I'm sorry, tool four is calling tool six, and tool six is calling tool five. So we've gone through the program and we've done that uh, conversion. So we've automatically got the next tool queued up and ready to go. And you can see also that we've put the G30P11 prior to any tool change call. So this is done automatically. So we've got look ahead that's being done automatically. Also the tool change return line uh, being done automatically. If you need more information of CNC Exchange, we do have other videos in the series, uh, both on uh, our website, kentechinc.com, as well as our YouTube channel, which is KT Software. Thank you very much for your time, and if you have any other inquiries or any questions about CNC Exchange, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, contact information uh, is on the website again.